5 seconds to go start rape is one of the most terrible crimes on earth and it happens every few minutes the problem with groups who deal with rape is that they try to educate women about how to defend themselves what really needs to be done is teaching men not to rape go to the source and start there this appeal is at the instance of the state of jammu and kashmir now ut of jammu and kashmir and is directed against the order passed by the high court of jammu and kashmir at jammu dated 11th october 2019 by which the high court rejected the criminal revision application number 27 of 2018 filed by the appellant state herein thereby affirming the order passed by the chief judicial magistrate kathua dated 27th march 2018 holding the respondent accused herein to be a juvenile on the date of the commission of the alleged offence this litigation originates from the most unfortunate kathua rape case the kathua rape case involved the abduction gang rape and murder of an 8 year old muslim girl by name x by six hindu men and the respondent herein claiming to be a juvenile in january 2018 in the rasana village near kathua in jammu and kashmir the victim belonged to the nomadic bakarwal community she disappeared for a week before her body was recovered by the villagers a kilometer away from the village in all eight individuals were arrested in connection with the ghastly crime which includes the respondent here since the respondent here in claimed to be a juvenile his trial was separated the other six co-accused were put to trial and while the judgment and order dated 10th june 2019 passed by the trial court six of the seven accused stood convicted and one accused was acquitted three of those convicted were sentenced to life imprisonment and remaining three to five years rigorous imprisonment the special investigation team sit was constituted to probe into the entire matter and ultimately charge sheet came to be filed against all the accused persons the father of the victim namely y lodged a complaint in the hira nagar police station stating that his daughter had gone missing on 17th january 2018 the body of the victim was found and taken into custody by the police the body was sent for autopsy the post mortem was conducted by a team of doctors at the district hospital kathua on the same day on 22nd january 2018 investigation of the case was transferred to the crime branch and crime headquarters the post mortem revealed the presence of clona jepam in the body of the deceased girl the examination by the doctors found that the deceased had been drugged which was sedative before she was raped and murdered the forensic evidence suggested that she had been held on several dates by sanji ram one of the accused persons of the crime the strands of hair recovered from the temple matched those taken from the deceased the forensic examination stated that the deceased had been raped multiple times by different men and that she had been strangulated to death as well as hit on the head by a heavy stone the delhi forensic science laboratory analyzed 14 packets of evidence containing vaginal swabs hair strands blood samples of four accused visra of the deceased girl the girl's frock and salwar simple clay and blood stained clay the vaginal swabs matched with the dna of the accused as did some other samples the hair strands found in the temple where the deceased was raped matched that of the girl and the accused one of the accused persons namely sanji ram along with the respondent herein was found to be the main accused in the case he at the relevant point of time was the priest of the family temple where the incident allegedly took place the respondent herein happens to be the nephew of the sanji ram on 10th june 
six of the seven accused persons were found to be guilty and one was acquitted sanji ram deepak khajuria and parvesh kumar were sentenced to life imprisonment for 25 years with a fine of rupees 1 lakh each the other three accused persons namely tilak raj anand datta and surinder kumar were sentenced to 5 years in jail for destroying crucial evidence in the case vishal jangotra son of sanji ram came to be acquitted due to lack of evidence the eighth accused who is yet to be tried claiming to be juvenile at the time of commission of the offence is the respondent here the specific case put up by the prosecution against the respondent herein is contained in the charge sheet reads thus he immediately rushed down stairs took three menars and keys to devi sthan and told x that he had seen her horses he led her to jungle and also called accused mannu who was already waiting for his signal sensing some trouble the victim tried to flee away the jd stopped her by catching hold of her neck and covered her mouth with one of his hands and pushed her and she fell on the ground accused mannu held her legs and the jcl respondent administered menars one by one forcibly to the victim the victim fell unconscious and was raped by jcl later on they took the girl and kept her inside devistan under the table over two chattais plastic mats and then covered her to the is cotton thread mats stop